Um, ladies and gentlemen, this example, basically what we are being advised to do, Jason, is we want to go and add. All right, we're looking into combining. We're trying to add two rational expressions. So when we're adding two rational expressions, what's most important for you guys to understand is we're trying to combine this into one expression. All right? Now, to combine this into one expression, you have to have common denominators. So the first thing we always did was determine the common denominator. However, if you guys look at a problem like this, the easiest thing to do is multiply your denominators to find a common denominator. However, anytime an opportunity comes for you guys to simplify, I would highly recommend factoring to have this simplified. So if I factor this right now, if I factor this trinomial, because that's the only thing I see that can be factored, I see that's 6 and 5. What two numbers multiply to give you 6, add to give you 5? 3 and 2. So therefore, I can rewrite this as x plus 3 times x plus 2. Now why, what that does to help me allow, out is now when I'm combining them, I can determine that the LCD of these two, these, the LCD here is going to have to contain x plus 2 as well as x plus 3. I don't need to multiply these because x plus 2 is the same. So the LCD is going to be x plus 2 times x plus 3. So if you guys notice, what's by factoring, I'm able to allow, this is already my LCD. All I need to do is get this to be have the same um, denominator. I really, really try, guys, but I'm sorry. I mean, it's really just a waste of time. So here, I'm going to be multiplying by x plus 3 over x plus 3. What that does is now that gives me the same denominators. I apply distributive property. So what I obtain is 3x plus 9 divided by x plus 3 over x plus 2 plus 7 over x plus 3 times x plus 2. Now you guys can see that my denominators are exactly the same. Just like if I had 1 fourth plus 3 fourths, right? You keep the denominators and add the numerators. So therefore, well, the only thing I can add is the 9 and the 7, which is 16. So this becomes 3x plus 16 divided by x plus 3 times x plus 2 where x cannot equal negative 3 and negative 2. Everybody see that? See what I did? So it's really, really 